Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, it's your homie. It's your... I'm back with another transfer roundup. So without further ado, why not we get the first news out? PSG want Moise Key permanently? Why? Whoa! But the guy wants to go to Juventus. And I don't know why Juve want him. They have Ronaldo on their books, Morata, uh, Kizia, and they have Kulusevsky. You tell me, guys. What the hell are these big clubs doing? They're just wasting money. And so the first news is Moise Keane, which I think is a waste. Let's get past it. Man City are definitely in for guess who yeah they're in for Harry Kane he has been given the green light to go send some bids after the Euros let's see how that will pan out here Atletico Madrid are signing guitar face left footed winger his name was Mark Cucurella let's see how that guy turns out to be guys he's just 22 right now so Will he be able to fulfill his potential? And it's for you to guess how much they're buying it for. No, it's just around 12 to 15. Pathetic news, guys. They have finally been able to convince Messi. He is in advanced talks to sign for Barca. Two year contract extension, boy. Shit. Why? Why? Just leave, man. Just leave. You're wasting your career there. You've done it. You squeeze the you squeeze the water out of the cloth, man. Stop trying to dry it, guys. They want to keep in cashing on Messi. I hate Barcelona right now, yo. And suddenly Lukaku is like the hottest property in Europe. He wins the Serie A seriously, guys. I know he's in good form. He's he's ready for Belgium Euros, but everyone is after him seriously. And man, you sold him because he wasn't apparently good enough. Chelsea want him now. Arsenal are sick of their keeper, Bird Leno. And they're trying to sign Onana from Ajax, yo. And the money. I don't know the money, yo. It's not undisclosed right now yet, guys. So, yeah. I think it's a good, good, good keeper. He's a very good keeper. He's experienced enough now in the Champions League. He can give Bird Leno a run for his money. Arsenal are also in for this player called... Albert Sambi Lokonga and if they're not able to get Besuma from Brighton they might get this guy apparently a lot of clubs are in for Besuma I don't think so guys he's that good he's not the next Kante he's overrated he's very overrated I hate to say it but it makes me very happy that Sergio Ramos is leaving Real Madrid. Yeah, buddy. They did offer him a new deal and it's good he rejected it. And I think it's a bad decision made by him. But we don't care, guys. They're apparently furious with uh, Ramos, which is why this news is brought to you. Real Madrid are trying to are up after that whole managerial fiasco in which you know, Zidane left. He wrote that open letter. He said they had no faith in him. And I think he was suffering from burnout, yo. He's been manager for a way long time. He's chill out. And Angel already leaves Everton. They, they pay his buyout clause. Everton are happy. And guess who they're signing? Nuno Esposito from Wolves. That manager. What do you guys think of that? Would he be a good fit for Everton? Because like with Wolves, I think everybody knew 
he is a better manager sorry was guys he was right. sorry okay there was a ceiling he wanted to keep spending more on the squad and he has left the squad in a very good place i just hope bulls don't get relegated they need to find a new manager for themselves to this season but yeah everton are in for nuno esposito santo and in other news you already know this eric garcia and sergio aguero have already moved to barcelona and we don't care about how good or bad the signings are for barcelona it's little pool shit out here and premier league but mostly transfer talk right now this does it's been reported man city are going to replace the striker with, with erling haaland or harry kane we guys should we guys should have back up to fomino but who do we have mina mino and origi seriously why don't we get the haaland we never going to spend 100 plus million for mbappe look we all know that get haaland his release clause can be activated next summer for 75 million euros get it get it done give dortmund another season with haaland we'll take it from there cuz this season okay for me no is i don't believe he's going to have a decline but he's going to have similar constant season always man city will come in and snap him up i hope chelsea go and get lukaku you guys should go and get it get him sorry this one is interesting junior firpo could be in london playing for west ham next season what do you guys think about that that's exciting yo barca put him on the transfer window transfer list like take him and go they like take it and go take him and go sorry not it cuz they signed emerson royal from real betis snapping up young other talents in the league for 9 million euros that's where junior fear pro is supposed to be out i think he's a good player we were in talks to sign him but he chose barcelona so we don't need jabari we already replaced you with timi timi kas i think he's good he's got limited chances this year he's good though steven gerard and rafa benitez were reportedly being considered for the everton job which is complete pull sack noodles and everybody wants yuri telemans this summer yo he's had a very impressive rise from monaco to leicester and now leicester are reportedly ready to sell him for 40 million they got him for 35 they should at least sell him for like 60 plus but nobody's going to pay that much money right now bro Apparently, everybody is reportedly trying to find Pau Torres's price. Villarreal will check for him. He's had an impressive season. I think he's a good above-average defender. Sorry, Pau Torres, but he's yeah, he's okay, man. He he punched above his weight last season. He's okay. Henrik Mkhitaryan has renewed his contract with Roma. Wow, there. Wow. Was Man Dembele hopes to stay at Barcelona? Cause you do, son. Cause you do. I got all the reports from my homies. He is out of contract in 2022. So all the statements that he puts out is, I hope to stay at Barcelona, guys. But I don't know anything could happen. These are the statements he puts out. Seriously, a team has bought you for 120 million. You were supposedly he's an overrated player. He should be sold to another team, snapped up by for like twenty eight million or something. That's a, that's the a right price for him. Dortmund looted Barca out of one twenty million by selling them Osman Dembele after he had just had four impressive performances for Dortmund. You guys know that. Tottenham are trying to get Conte in. I think it's a good move for both parties. Yo. 
definitely he could fit the bill. Tottenham shouldn't have fired Jose Mourinho but right before the finals but you guys suck man Daniel Levy you suck and people are after Raheem Sterling apparently Man City are not too interested in extending its contract because he's had an average season and Arsenal are trying to sign him there were reports today that Liverpool might sign him but no not to no. Leicester might buy Jonathan Ta. He's 25 now. Thought he must be 28, 29 something. He's a good defender, guys. They're always in for these underrated guys, huh? Leicester City. So Yun Chu, Ari Maguire. They got a good scouting team. Ancelotti is excited to have Gareth Bale coming back. Real Madrid guys and that's it that's all the news guys come around tomorrow read all about it listen to Josh and tomorrow guys thanks for watching yo I'll see you tomorrow man really appreciate your homies yo we really home